We are very interested from a fumigation standpoint in continuing to look and refine fumigation strategies that include telone or 1,3-dichloropropene for nematodes, coupling that with uh, chlorpicrin for uh, disease control, and then uh, identifying the ways and means in which to control Carolina geranium, uh, pusley, nut sedge, as you can see out here, that are common uh, wheat components in, in Florida strawberries. Uh, Andrew's going to talk to some extent about that, as well as uh, the wheat control options in the row middles themselves. Uh, what I will tell you is here, if you look out over the, the, the plots here, you see the plots that are heavily populated with uh, nuts edge here. Those are the chloropicrin plots themselves. Chloropicrin is uh, something that has excellent disease control, but in this case, it's a scarifying agent for the nutlets of nut sedge in the soil itself. And one of the things we're real concerned about is nut sedge. And nut sedge is going to be a problem. You can see that we have a little patch of nut sedge here that have escaped probably where the gas didn't quite come on the reef when they started. Um, as a matter of fact, you can pretty much tell which direction the guy was going most likely by looking where the, where the nut sedge is. You got three, three, three. So that's probably every third one we had some problem with the knife. And that happens. You don't necessarily gas as opposed to knives every time. Well, the biggest thing when we talk about nut sedge right now is we don't have any herbicides to help in the control. Plain simple, we just don't have the ability to do it. Uh, we're looking at getting some, or at least five years away from probably having one that will really help. So our choices right now is uh, uh, spend a lot, a lot of money on fumigation, make sure we clean up every single piece of nut sedge in the field, or be very aware of where we have nut sedge in the field and do something about it. And one example is right here. We have nut sedge moving into these two beds here, in my opinion. Saving those few strawberries is not worth it. Spray Roundup, kill that nut sedge off. That little patch will be three or four times as big next year, bigger again, bigger then. In four years, that little patch can turn into a half of an acre size patch of nut sedge because every time you cut that ground, you're moving that nut sedge everywhere. So you're better off sacrificing that now than sacrifice a half an acre four, year, four years from now. And that's the way we see things. The other choice is fallow programs as well. We can do some stuff in the field, but it involves killing the strawberries. If you have a time when you pull your, your, your plants out and your field can lay there for a month or two, it gives you an opportunity to go in there and do something with the weeds. Combinations of cultivation and, till, or cultivation and herbicides. If we cultivate, spray Roundup, cultivate, spray Roundup. So we cultivate, let nut sedge come up, spray it. Cultivate, let nut sedge come up, spray it. We can get rid of over 80% of our nut sedge problem in our field. And the reason why is nut sedge grows in chains. Chains are generally seven to nine nuts in a chain. Well, there's dominancy attached to these nuts. So the first two nuts in that chain will germinate. Shoots will come out of that. The other ones will generally stay dormant. Which means when you're only spraying herbicides, you're only killing the first two of, of, let's say, eight nuts. When you cultivate, you split that chain in half. Now you've got, instead of one chain of eight nuts, you've got two chains of four nuts. Now you have two nuts on each of those four chain nuts that germinate. They come up, you kill them off, and you spray them with Roundup, now you have two nuts left. But those other two, if they don't have any light, they're probably going to sit in the ground not do anything. That's why we cultivate again to flash them with light to make them want to germinate. They germinate, you spray them with Roundup, and then you can take the majority of your nut less out. So it's combinations of cultivation and herbicides. Just cultivation, eight, nine times to get 8% control. Just herbicides, we're not sure. Because like I mentioned before, those nuts will sit down in that soil and not want to come up. So we need the combination of cultivation and, and Roundup specifically to, to kill off those nuts. Uh, that works. I promise you that works. We've got a tomato grower down south that has done that for over five years. He can fumigate with whoever he wants to because you can hardly find nuts edge on his farm.